Thank you for pressing play. Your presence here brings joy to my heart. Thank you for joining us today as we dive into Leif Robinson. William Leif Robinson, VC 14 July 1895, 31 December 1918, was the first British pilot to shoot down a German airship over Britain during the First World War. For this, he was awarded the Victoria Cross VC, the highest award for gallantry in the face of the enemy that can be awarded to British and Commonwealth forces. He was the first person to be awarded the VC for action in the UK. His action marked a turning point in the war against the airship menace and caused the German airship bombing campaign to falter. In the three months afterwards, five more airships were shot down using the combat techniques he had proven. Let's zoom in on early life and understand its implications. Robinson was born in Kug, India, on 14 July 1895, the youngest son of Horace Robinson and Elizabeth Leaf. Raised on his parents' coffee estate, came a better estate. At Polybetta in Kug, he attended Bishop Cotton Boys School, Bangalore, and the Dragon School, Oxford, before following his elder brother Harold to Streetbees School, Cumberland, in September 1909. While there, he succeeded his brother as head of Eaglesfield House in 1913 played in the Rugby 1st XV and became a sergeant in the School Officer Training Corps. In the next segment, we'll be exploring First World War and its implications for our subject matter. In August 1914, he entered the Royal Military College, Sandhurst, and was gazetted into the Worcestershire Regiment in December. In March 1915, he went to France as an observer with the Royal Flying Corps, to which he had transferred. After having been wounded over Lille, he underwent pilot training in Britain, before being attached to No. 39 Home Defence Squadron, a night flying squadron at Sutton's Farm Airfield near Hornchurch in Essex. Brace yourself for an in-depth analysis as we navigate through the VC action and its far-reaching implications. On the night of September 1916 over Cuffley, in what was then Essex, now Hertfordshire Lieutenant Robinson, flying a converted Beck Knight Fighter No. 2693, sighted a German airship one of 16 which had left bases in Germany for the largest airship raid of the war over England. The airship he encountered was the wooden frame Shetlands SL-11, although at the time and for many years after, it was misidentified as the Zeppelin L-21. Robertson was in the air for several hours. After initially spotting the airship, he lost it in clouds. Later, he again made contact and attacked at an altitude of 11,500 foot, approaching from below and closing to within 500 foot raking the airship from below with machine gun fire of incendiary bullets. However, these two runs were unsuccessful. He then tried his third and last ammunition drum, and the airship burst into flames and crashed in a field behind the plow in at Cuffley. Commander Hauptmann Wilhelm Schramm and his 15-man crew were killed. In his combat report to his commanding officer, Leif Robinson wrote, The propaganda value of this success was enormous to the British government, as it indicated that the German airship threat could be countered. With our curiosity piqued, let's embark on a dedicated exploration of celebrity and its fascinating intricacies. Robinson landed his damaged biplane at 2.45 a.m. to tremendous acclaim from the squadron, and immediately wrote his combat report. He woke up to find that he had become a national celebrity overnight. He was splashed across all the major newspapers, and young actresses from the West End jostled to get an introduction to him. Tens of thousands of people made their way to see the remains of the airship at Cuffley, parts of which were sold by the Red Cross for charity fundraising mounted on pieces of card. Just two days later, Robinson was awarded the Victoria Cross thought to be the fastest on record and received the medal on 9 September at Windsor Castle, with huge crowds of admirers and onlookers in attendance. Robinson was also awarded £3,500 sterling in prize money and a silver cup donated by the people of Hornchurch. Unfortunately, on 16 September, he crashed his plane 2693 when attempting to take off for a night patrol. It was a total wreck, 
he escaped just before it was consumed by fire. This incident led to his being grounded, as he was too valuable a national figure, with a long string of official engagements, to run such risks. Only the propeller survived and is on public display in the armory of Culzen Castle in Ayrshire. It was given to the Marquess of Elsa in thanks for letting his land at Turnberry be used for an RFC flying school. However, the combat technique of using concentrated upward fire and mixed incendiary bullets had been proven by Leif Robinson, and more successes quickly followed. On 23 September 1916, Frederick Sori, also 39 Squadron, shot down the Zeppelin. On the night of October 1916, 2nd Lieutenant W. L. Tempest of 39 Squadron, flying a Beck, spotted the Zeppelin, illuminated by searchlights over southwest London, and shot it down with the loss of the entire airship crew. In all, five more German airships were destroyed by home defence Beck interceptors between October and December 1916. Brace yourselves for the next chapter, where we'll be dissecting Western Front. After continual pestering of the authorities to allow him to return to active service, in April 1917 Robinson was posted to France as a flight commander with no. 48 Squadron, flying the then new Bristol fighter. On the first patrol over the lines, on 5 April Robinson's formation of six aircraft encountered the Albatros D fighters of Jaster 11, led by Manfred von Richthofen. Four were shot down. Robinson, flying Bristol far, was shot down by Weisfeld Bull Sebastian Fessner, and was wounded and captured. He was posted as dead until two months later a letter arrived from him in a POW camp. During his imprisonment, he made several attempts to escape and was moved around to several camps, including Zorndorf and Holzminden. He was kept in solitary confinement at the latter camp for his escape attempts. It is thought his health was badly affected during his time as a prisoner. In this section, we'll be shedding light on death and its impact on our understanding of the subject. Robinson was repatriated in early December 1918 and was able to spend Christmas with his friends and family. However, this freedom was short-lived. He contracted the Spanish flu and died on 31 December 1918 at the Stanmore home of his sister, Baroness Hiking. It was thought that his imprisonment had left him particularly susceptible. He was buried at All Saints Churchyard Extension in Harrow Weald, with great ceremony. Thousands turned up to line the route of the procession, which was led by the central band of the RAF, and a fly past of aircraft dropped a wreath which was laid on the grave. In the next portion, we'll be immersing ourselves in the realm of memorials and examining its broader implications. A memorial to Robinson was erected on the East Ridgeway in Cuffley, close to the spot where the airship crashed. The site was donated by Mrs. J. M. B. Kidson of Nunn Park, Norfolk, and the monument itself was paid for by readers of the Daily Express newspaper. It takes the form of a Cornish granite obelisk 5.1 m tall and bears royal flying corps wings along with the following inscription, quote, a monument was unveiled in front of a large crowd on 9 June 1921 by Freddie Guest, the Secretary of State for Air. The inscription originally identified the airship as, but this was corrected in 1966. It was renovated and ceremonially rededicated on 3 September 1986 by Air Chief Marshal Sir Michael Steer. It was restored again between December 2007 and March 2008 as it was subsiding on one corner. A service of commemoration was held on 31 December 2018 led by Reverend Christopher Kilder, the vicar of the parish of Norfolk and Cuffley, on the date of the 100th anniversary of Leif Robinson's death. An exhibition of photographs and memorabilia relating to Robinson was displayed in Cuffley Hall afterwards. A road is named after him Robinson close in Hornchurch, Essex, on the site of the former Sutton's farm airfield. He appears in a short segment of a wartime newsreel, although the location and date of the recorded event are unknown. Robinson's name appears on the Triple VC Memorial in Street B's school chapel, which was dedicated in 1932. His name also appears on the memorial at the Madagreek Museum.
he is commemorated by the name of the local Miller and Carter Steakhouse just south of the cemetery, the Leaf Robinson VC on the Uxbridge Road, Harrow Weald. This building was originally opened as the Leaf Robinson Restaurant in 1954 and contained a display of artifacts including the propeller from a big aircraft, however these were destroyed by a fire in the Urs, but the name was preserved when it reopened as a Bernie Inn. In April 2010, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Great Northern Route extension that connects Grange Park to Cuffley, the first Capital Connect Rail Company named Class 313 train Captain William Leaf Robinson VC. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.